This is a video tutorial for Runtime Software's NAS Data Recovery Tool. We're going to show you how to run the software on a LinkStation Duo, which is a RAID 0 type of NAS. NAS Data Recovery has the ability to determine if the array is a RAID 0, as it is in this case, or a RAID 5. We must first remove the drives from the casing. Buffalo makes this very easy as there are two tabs that you must pull to remove the drives. Be sure to mark or remember what drive belongs in what spot, so when you return the drives to the case, you can do so in the correct order. It is important to start this procedure with the computer turned off. Most of these devices use serial ATA drives, so be sure you have enough free ports or purchase a serial ATA non-RAID controller to ensure enough free ports. Bolt drives or images of the drives must be attached in order to use our software. If you wish to use images, please use our RAID Reconstructor demo to make the images. In this video, we will be using the physical drives. Once bolt drives are attached to the serial ATA data cable and power cables, go ahead and start your computer. The first thing we'll need to do is start disk management to ensure the drives are being seen and which drives you need to select in the software. The two drives we need to use are drive 0 and drive 1. These drives are easy to distinguish because they are the same size and they have the same partition table layout. NAS drives are Linux based so they have quite a few more partitions than a Windows drive. If you are ever presented with an option to initialize a drive in disk management, cancel it. This will write a Windows partition table to the drive and may result in a failure to recover your data. Now that we know which drives we need to choose, we can start the software and select our drives. Once you select the drives in your NAS, click Next. This process goes very fast in most cases. This NAS was a music server, so we're expecting to see music in the recovery. The software at this point is trying to determine the order of the drives, the start sector of the data partition, and the block size of the array. When it is successful, it will tell you that it found a NAS volume and what the parameters are. We can now click the Next button to see the data. If the file system is undamaged, you will see the directory structure of the data on the reconstructed array. Open the folders on the right to browse the subfolders of the data. As you can see, the files and folders look perfect in this case. There are recoveries when this may not be the case, especially if there's any file system damage. You have the ability to view your files at this point as well. You can choose a file and press Enter or press F3. This will work on pictures and text documents. You can open JPEGs, BMP, TIFF files, or text document files. So the software works on single drives, RAID 0 and RAID 5 arrays. It will show you what it can recover before you need to make a purchase and let you test certain file types. If you get a message that the correct drive order was not found, or you find the correct order but no data is shown in the recovery, contact us by phone at 808-329-2202 or email us at support at runtime.org so we can help you determine what the problem may be.